Hello ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, dogs and cats, and everything above and below. Welcome to Tank Mechanic Simulator. Um, this is my second update on my progress of the museum. And you guys already know that I have that M26 Pershing and the uh, Panzer III here. And Sherman and my favorite, the Stug 40. Um... And of course, we got over here is the Tiger One, and we got the Russian uh, T3476, and these this half track one over here. Um, pretty unique looking machine. Not one of my favorites, but definitely uh, definitely cool, different. And oh, of course, we got over here is the Panzer IV Osvegi. Actually, I have the model version. If you guys have seen. Um, what I received recently and painted and all that stuff. Excuse me. And uh, yeah, I got this one. I was just actually messing with it today, playing around with it. And actually, today I'm receiving an M1A2 Abrams, which of course is not in this game at all. But um, I've been trying to look for collectibles and stuff, but for some freaking reason, I just can't. I, can, I only was only able to find two damn objects. The first one was a gun here. Um, and I placed it in this case because I tried to put it in one of these small cases, but the barrel was sticking out. It just didn't look right. So I got this little, like, what appears to be like a metal or a button or something. I wonder if there's a way to, like... Well, that's it right there, as you can see. So I'm going to back out of here. Hopefully nothing weird happens when I back out. Uh, because this game has been kind of buggy. Um, and apparently I'm playing the unstable version right now because they did another update and whatever. So far, so good, right? Okay, so I'm going to get back to the workshop because I want to work on a Stug 40 and paint it in like a different scheme because this is the current Stug 40 that I have right now. So, so going in there. Woo! I'm excited. I love the Stug 3, man. It is just an awesome little tank. In fact, I'm going to end up getting that one and the RC version. Yes. Love these little RC, little RC tanks. They shoot far they shoot little airsoft little uh 65 millimeter uh plastic little yellow airsoft balls bbs and they go far and they hurt i shot myself in the leg yes okay yeah all right so here's my uh rust bucket that i'm going to turn into something glorious um i'm at a point in this game where I, there's really nothing left for me to do all my freaking things are full like i have a tank in the paint booth over there i have another tank in my uh bay 2 over there i got tanks parked outside in the backyard i can't even put them in my whole freaking museum is full i'm maxed out on all this stuff here um i think i, I just got to a point where it's just like i'm either just gonna have to like you know if i want to continue just renovating tanks i'll have to sell one you know and then just keep renovating and stuff like that i still want to get a kv2 um, that is a KV-1 in there. I'll show you guys when I'm done. It's a KV-1. So let's get started with this one. Uh, got my tool belt. Let's go ahead and get the rust removal tool here. And let's do this. One of my favorite machines of all time. El Stuggo Fordo. El Stuggo 3 Fordo. Oh, uh, well the game seems like, yeah, it's laggy. It's, ugh. Not normally like that. I guess that's what they mean by unstable, but I don't know. I guess they're trying to fix something or something like that. But um, yeah, it gives me like a headache just moving around. I hate it. And on top of that, I'm recording too, so it's gonna it's gonna look like crap. So you're just gonna have to bear with it, man. Oh no, or crouch down. I got to keep one ear open for your uh, FedEx is going to be knocking on my door, dropping my tank off. So, man, I wish it was a real life tank, like saying like they're going to drop a real tank off in front of my house. I would love to have. I mean, this might even sound kind of frivolous, but to some, because some of you understand my feelings. I would love to have a real life tank in my backyard. You know? Oh, my God. Not because I want to go and shoot and cause destruction. No. You know, it's just that the nostalgia of being able to have one and, and and baby it, take care of it, you know, and, and take it to, like, events and stuff. Um, 
I live in Southwest Florida, and in downtown Fort Myers, there they held a some kind of like uh, veterans military parade or something like that, where they had a tank that shot pyrotechnics, and it was so loud that babies were crying everywhere. And so <laughs> um, yeah, I was one of them, so I'm just kidding. It was a really really cool uh, experience to see, you know, just to see the tracks rolling like right there. That was so cool, man. Let me remove the engine out of here real quick. There we go. So I can keep on. Oh, crouch down. I can do these parts here. Make sure everything here is good. These radiator caps are so annoying. To be honest. I don't know why they just piss me off. It's like you do everything. You're like, ah, I'm almost done. And all of a sudden, you gotta freaking go all the way back because you forgot to do a freaking radiator cap. Har har har. All right, so let's switch up to sandblaster mode here. Bingo, bango. Wow, this is so, like, magic. You know, if it were like this in real life. Oh, cool. Look at that. Beautiful. Almost makes me want to leave it that way. Am I crouched? No, I'm not. <clears throat> Man, I can't tell you. This tank is amazing. It's like it, I like it because it's so like low profile and almost looks like it's hard to hit. <laughs> I forgot to. Oh, no, we're not. You know, one thing about that angle grinder, I never really freaking use it. Never. I don't know why it's there because I complete tanks with no problem. I don't know. Maybe they're going to introduce some kind of surprise when you're taking the tank apart maybe i've only okay there was only one instance for some reason I, it was during the tutorial that's it where it said oh you know these screws are, are are stuck you're gonna have to cut them off or grind them off whatever or hammer them off so i used the angle grinder and it worked it took the screws out but i never encountered that again ever again ever 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 not once so i don't know man i don't know i don't know no, don't get mad at me just because I'm not using the angle grinder. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Oh, I think I might have to. Yep. Rust removal. Uh. Boom. There you go. And I might. Oh, yeah. That's. Okay. I think the most hardest tank to do in this game is the tiger one that big boy oh my god that thing has like a billion freaking road wheels down there it's got like a billion road wheels and it's like i've gotten to a point where i can hammer it i can knock it out in like 20 minutes maybe 30 i feel short I, yeah i'm crouched uh, I might need to rust removal. I knew it. Ha 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 I wish they would actually add the ability to weld in this game. Like actually put that welding helmet on and, and start welding real like nice little, you know, welding tigs. Just really good, you know, just and, and you know, the better you do it, the more, you know, it, the tank looks better, whatever. You get more value for it or whatever. Come on, you guys missed out, man. When it comes to working on tanks, welding is essential. You know, welding is like one of the, the main things that is done on a tank. <laughs> oh, but it's okay. It's alright. I'm not I'm not complaining. It's a fun, it's a great game. Uh let's switch seats here. Let's go inside the driver's seat. And uh we need to switch to rust tool here. I'm not complaining, but I just think it's something that should have been or should at should be added and not forgotten about. But it's a whole entire mechanic system that they have to implement, and it's just like I think it's never going to be included in this game. Welding it should have been done, but whatever, it's not. Plus, I think welding looks cool, don't you think? I think that's one of the coolest things that you can do. And even in real life, welding is awesome. It's, it's, it could be bad for you if you're not doing it right. But welding is really cool. It's, it's a very unique trade, too. And it takes really good skill to get good welds. 
<laughs> you know, like it's kind of like soldering, but like more. You, it takes more skill to do welding, of course. But it's almost kind of the same thing, almost. It's it's in the same. It's like soldering. It's like his little brother. More rust removal. Gosh, I thought I did that thing already. There we go. No, we're not gonna hammer time. No, we are not going to hammer time. No, we don't use the hammer for some reason. I get these tanks done 100% beautiful without using any angle grinder or hammer. Maybe that's because they haven't implemented the mechanic yet or something. I don't know. But the tutorial did it for me. And it said, oh, you got screws that are stuck. You're going to have to use the hammer or angle grinder. Choose your poison. So I, choose the, I chose the angle grinder and it worked. But I've never, ever encountered that again. So I don't know. I don't know. Uh, all right. There's no passenger guy. Just a driver here. So... Let's get in. Oh, wait. I forgot. The turret's not even removed. It doesn't come off this tank. Uh, primer. Oh, no rust. Come on. There we go. Nice, 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 baby. And these primer. I wonder what it's like to be in one of these tanks for real, in like real life, you know? I mean, the closest I got is my VR tank experience of IL-2, which is amazing. Um, it just, it's under, it's, it's in the works. It's under development still. It's in early stages, so it's not going to be perfect yet. All right, so we're going to start priming. Look at this, like magic, man. Oh, my God. It almost feels like I'm cheating. It really does. I feel like I'm cheating. Torsions down there. That needs paint, that needs paint. Let's switch seats back to the driver. Make sure we're not missing anything over here. Alrighty. Let's switch to this guy. Oh, I was already on this guy. Let's switch to the commander. Whoa, why are you... Alright, so we're going to get out of this tank now. I think I pretty much got everything inside. Let's get out. Get out. What are you doing? Stop! Boy, you lose pr you lose uh, the touch if you don't play this game for a while. <laughs> I don't know if most of you... D uh, some of you probably know, some of you don't, but... Um, I'm not using a... Well, I am using a mouse, but I'm not using a keyboard. I'm actually... On my left hand, I have a... Uh, Oh boy, I'm going to get chewed alive for this one. But I'm using a gamepad on my left hand. Because I'm not used to the whole WASD thing, man. I, I'm sorry. I really, really am. So I'm kind of a hybrid guy here. And I, it's so comfortable for me. And I got all the buttons, everything I need. The jump, the crouch. You know? I got everything I need, man. Don't hate me for it, please. In the end, we're all gamers. Come on. <laughs> like I kind of I posted uh, on uh, what do you call this place uh, Steam I posted on the discussion about this game you know if there would be game support and people were just chomping me like sharks how dare you mention even the word gamepad here <laughs> you know PC players is, are serious about their shit you know and I, I don't hate on them for that um, I think honestly, trading my console for a PC was like the best thing I think I've ever done. And you're probably wondering who the hell would trade your. Uh, th well, some guy had a freaking uh, had this uh, PC that had an um, i i seven eighty seven hundred with a ten sixty six gigabyte, sixteen gigabytes of RAM, and um, he wanted my PS four Pro. So I said, "Hell, take it." Uh, all right, switching to paint here. I said, take it, man. It's yours. 
I'll take that PC because you know what? I love VR and although PS4 Pro has VR, it's very limited on what you can play. I mean, all the games that I've seen them have are like little kid games. They're like They're not kid games. They're very indie, but they're just so like like tacky and wacky and I like good experiences like DCS, uh, IL-2, oh, I forgot to turn that up there, IL-2, um, man, a whole bunch bunch of games, I even tried the game, I even tried this game on VR, um, Tank Mechanic Simulator, but it, of course it doesn't really work, uh, the re how I tried it was Vortex, it's a, it's a software that you buy, and honestly, I think Vorte Vortex, Vortex sucks, man, I mean, it might be good for some other games that I haven't tried yet, but honest to God, man, it sucks to me, man. I think it's a waste of money. You know, they charged 40 bucks for it, and to be honest with you, it doesn't even give you the true native VR experience, man. That's if you're like a real VR junkie that you got to try it in VR. I mean, you have to. There's like, unless you'll get anxiety if you don't. That's when Vorfe Vorpex comes into play, because I've tried it on VR, uh, a lot of games actually, and they all freaking just kind of suck, you know I mean? It's alright, but it's just not worth it, to be honest with you. In order to experience VR, you have to have native VR. So, you know, I'll just be patient, and who knows, maybe someday they'll have a VR support on this uh, tank mechanic simulator. But it's fine the way it is on, on pancake mode, it's fine. I, I don't care. It, it's, it's fun. It doesn't it would be so awesome to be on VR. What hell? It would be so cool. But I'm not going to cry about it. I Seriously, I'm not going to cry about it. It's fine the way it is. Um, I noticed on this game, Tank Mechanic Simulator, I guess I might have to go to my graphics and figure this out or something, but... I noticed on on Dre's videos or uh, Diesel or whoever does Tank Mechanic Tank Mechanic Simulator, um, they have a character uh, like I can see their arms driving and holding the the tablet and stuff like that. And I noticed that I'm just a ghost figure that just holding tools around, floating around and stuff. So I'm gonna figure that out. See if I can do that. I might be missing something. If you guys know how to do it, just leave it in the comments. I'll figure. I'll, I'll look through it anyway. But just if you can help, that'll be cool. Okay, so I, I've pretty much done everything inside of here. Let me get out. Uh, so now what I gotta do is I'm gonna buy all the parts for this tank here. So I'm gonna go to tank analysis here and go to buy all missing parts. It's gonna cost me seventy-eight hundred bucks, and that's fine because I'm close to a million already. And in fact, let me check on my get out. Let me check on. <coughs> my museum real quick here Let's see what they're making okay wow nice 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 my current visitors are 528 dollars i got my ticket set at 15 bucks a piece and i think i'm asking too much but whatever it's a game no in real life i charge for like five bucks but i'm trying to make money in the game <laughs> so it's uh yeah i'm making pretty good substantial not not too bad i think 15 dollars per ticket is the nice little balance in this game you know, you don't want to ask too much, you know, too too little, I mean, if you can get more, you know what I mean? So, yeah, I think I'm doing pretty good on that. Okay, so I bought all the parts here for this tank already. So, before we start putting, you know, no, 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 don't, don't confuse things. Let's start building the tank now. Yeah. Everything's been upgraded in this thing. That's why it's faster. Um, I'm afraid I ran through this game a little too fast. So all I, all I can do with this game is just sell a tank. Go find another one. Build it. Get bored of it. Sell it. Go find another one. Because um, I like the shooting and being able to control the tanks and what have you. But um, it kind of gets boring. I want to be able to shoot against people. Like actual players, wouldn't that be cool? If you if we can do like a one v one thing or or four v four, you know what I mean? At least, I mean he should open up some kind of server, man, where you know it could be like four v four, you know, tank battles and stuff. And we understand it won't be perfect, not yet, 
but at least you know we can give him feedback on you know hey you know these guys are too OP or this tank is way too weak or whatever man just help you know at least some or if he can't do a tank battle thing at least maybe we can visit other people's museums and they can make some kind of money out of it and we can use our money to visit their museums you know like it'll cost us like say just to you know make it more interesting i guess it'll cost us like two thousand dollars <laughs> i know it sounds unreal but, but at least they can make some money and we can spend the money you know it's like a little cool thing to do because eventually we're gonna have millions of dollars here and we're not gonna have nothing to do with it so that would be a great idea i don't think it'll be so hard to do it, yeah it might take some time but come on man it'll be worth it man let us visit, you know, other players' museums and see what they got. See, see their collectibles and stuff. You know, instead of them having to show a video on YouTube on what they have, they can actually allow people to come visit their museum. And that'll be cool if you can see, like, a little figure character walking around. You can see, like, I'll go to my museum right now, and I would see a whole squad of people looking at my stuff. You know, and they'll see me when I walk in. Hey, what's going on, guys? You know, like... You can actually talk to him if you want to. Man, the things you can do with this game. Come on, why not? I don't even know why I'm putting all this on, but I'm just going to do it. Because I, I think I, once I'm done with the engine, I can just pop the engine in without having to take these things off. So, And that'll be fine. That will be fine, mate. That would be fine. Alright, so... Alright, let's go mess with the engine then, huh? Shall we? So we're going to go ahead and start removing rust. <laughs> this this engine looks like it was injected injection molded or something. All right, switching to Sandblaster. What I like about the new update they did is the engine condition percentage. It didn't show when I first started playing this game. It did not show at all. And it's like you didn't really know. It was just missing things. Okay, so I, I'm missing parts of the engine, I bet. Get out of my face. Um, God, I'm losing touch in this game. Uh... Is there any parts missing? It has to be. Maybe a V-belt or something? 96% done on this engine. Okay, we'll do it this way. Tank analysis and go to engine. Since we're at 96%, we're going to see exactly fasting. Ah, you see this? This I didn't see this. Get some. Now, it's engine conditions at 100%, so we can go ahead and place it back into the tank. And now it is inside my stug. So we're at 96% uh, assembly. So let's go to tank analysis and see what we're missing here. Hull exterior is at 94%. So we're missing air vents. I'm going to click on this one here. And boom. There you go. See? I love that feature now that, you know, it, it tells you. And it shows you. Not only does it tell you, but it shows you where that part is missing. So turret exterior. A gun mantle. Oh my god, please don't tell me I'm going to have to go through this again. Put that on here. This on here. And this on. Oh yeah. Get in there. It's kind of quirky. Just the, in certain angles, it's kind of quirky. The best way to do it is just follow it as it goes down. Okay, what else? Fuel system. All right, we'll do. We'll mess with the fuel. Oh, gearbox cover. And right in there, we got this little guy here. What we could do is we can cheat. We can take it out. Okay, and then we can go to, oh wait, go back. We can go to storage, 
and click on that one here and then outsource the repair and have it done in about 20 seconds and then you can actually install it without having to remove everything so that's actually really good so let's see what else while that's counting down we will go to the fuel system here and ah you see what i'm talking about radiator caps didn't i freaking do it sanding oh goodness all right well we'll go ahead and take care take care of this real quick here see sanding okay all right we'll sand the radiator cap there we go all right oh wait get out let's click on this one more time fuel system and a v-belt uh-huh that's one little guy here that i have to probably take out oh whoa, whoa sanding i'll just do a little cheat to it it's not a cheat i mean it's part of the game but it's kind of cheating in my opinion and oh wait go back go to storage click on this messed up guy and outsource repairs and you have the option to fully paint it or have it primed or just have it sanded and you just do the rest but i'm lazy right now so i'm gonna have it fully repaired so we're gonna go ahead and install that little part that we took out earlier so exterior engine cover it's okay i can put that on and hull interior gearbox cover right there and bam that's it with that so those are 100 percent and all i'm missing here is this here the v-belt get that thing on and then get this v-belt on here so i think we're pretty much done with this tank Everything's at 100%. So then now we can go ahead and do a little quick paint job to it. Oh, it looks so good. I love this tank so much. Uh, go here. Go to move tank. And we're going to move to the paint room. And then this is my uh, KV-1 that I did earlier. I just did some really cool, like, wacky, tacky kind of style. Um, why not, you know? So, All right. So let's go ahead and paint this baby. Alright. So what color should we go for? Let's see. Mm, no, 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 no. No. I don't want to make it look like my other stug, so I'll just do something different. Thing is, you know, German tanks look good with these sand colors, you know. Um, tan colors and stuff. It doesn't look bad in gray either. Oh my god. This looks like that game, uh, what is it called? Battlezone. I don't know if you guys know what game that is, but it's a really cool kind of retro old school game. They made a new version of it. Hey, it doesn't look bad in this uh, khaki green color. So well, I guess we'll go with this. Right? And as far as... Uh, Camo goes negatory. I don't like that. No, that's kind of looks like the other tank I have. Hey, what's up, kitty? Uh, that looks dope, but I want to change the color on it though. Ah, what the hell just happened? No. Can I change the color on the... On the camo? Well, I guess we cannot. Now that I look at this one, I'm starting to like it. <laughs> But let's see if I can change. Oh, yeah, there we go. Oh, look, that's cool. I haven't really explored much with these. Uh, oh, that's the brightness of it. Okay. 
Huh. It doesn't look too bad. It's just I wish I can change the color of the of the actual camo stuff. So let's go to back to decals. Now putting decals on these tanks uh, on this current version, you have to be very careful on how you do this because if you mess up a couple of times, you would have to. You can't just delete, you know, one one decal. You have to like reset everything, which my God is the most ridiculous thing. Seriously. Let me move over this way a little bit so I can see exactly how I'm doing this. Whoa, 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 go back. That needs to shrink a little more right there. And we go hit J a little bit. No, L. There we go. I mean, that looks fairly straight. Maybe a little bit. A little tap on the J. There we go. That looks pretty good. So we'll click there, and there you have it. So then now we're going to do the other side pretty much in the same spot. But I would have to move this guy. would have to press L. Oh, no, no, J. All right. One more right there. Um, What do you guys think? No, I think this is a little more to the... There we go, right there. It might be even off a little bit. It's not perfect. I remember like Forza Motorsports, it had numbers when you add the decals or like Call of Duty or whatever when you Black Ops, when you, you know, it tells you so you can get it right, you know, but oh well, I'm not complaining, it's fine. What other decals are here? Just numbers and stuff. Eh. Cool. Well, I guess we'll just go ahead and leave it the way it is here. This is fine. I'm happy with it. Uh, let me exit out. And uh, let's do a little test run on her. That'll be pretty cool. So before we do that, we gotta add the fluids here real quick. So we're gonna start with fuel. Alright. Now we go to oil. Oh, no more. There we go. It's done, I guess. And coolant. I'll start with the left side first. And go to the right side. Alrighty, we're good. So now we can go to go play with her. Um Let's see. Let's go to Proving Grounds. This is going to be fun. Like I said, it would be so cool if, you know, you can actually, like, test one 1v1 one or four v four, a team of four versus four. You know, and you guys, like, battle it out. You know what I mean? It will be cool, man. Like, awesome. Like some Shermans versus, you know, uh, Panzers or... Some Ru uh, Russian T-34s versus the uh, Panzer IVs, or what have you. Oh man, that would be the coolest, coolest thing ever. But I guess we'll just have to see, and we'll wait and see what happens. Wow, she looks pretty good, man. Look at that. That's just, that's just absolutely beautiful. Let's fire her up. Oh my god, are you kidding? I thought I filled the fuel. Probably didn't go 100% on the fuel. What? I thought I did the fuel. Okay, so... Let's try now. Alright, so let's get inside. Go on the driver's seat here. Oh, this is so cool, man. What does it look like in others? This is the Kamanza. Oh, what? How come I can't? Oh, come on. Can we at least get out to look out? 
guys are slipping. It's just the little things, man. You can only open them. You can't freaking. Okay, so we're gonna exit out of the tank here. Just so we can, like, see what we're doing here. See? Alright. stuck really you have to actually move the entire tank <laughs> because it only has so much that it traverses it doesn't really, doesn't really traverse much oh my god it's so sensitive I thought I hit it. A little too soon, Junior. Well, I gotta fix that. Uh, I'll do that in the options eventually, but. Um We can shoot at other tanks and play like a, a tank war, man. That would be so cool. Anyway, guys, that's it for me for today. I'll keep on. I'll continue posting my progress. I mean, I don't even know what progress I can do. Pretty much maxed out. Um, if you guys have any ideas on what I can do in this game to, you know, for replayability, I guess you would say, please drop them in the comments. Let me know. I want to know what I can do because it's, it's already getting kind of boring to me that I'm stuck at. All I can do is dig out tanks and just keep restoring them. And if there's something that I can do, just let me know. Thanks for watching, guys. And remember to like, share, subscribe. And definitely I'll be posting more videos soon. Cheers.